Who's the hardest? <laughs> All right, yes, everyone, another episode of Who's the Hardest. Today, we've got big homie Kemzy in here. Not a vibe, man. Kemzy Redside. Love, bro. Thanks for coming true. What are you telling me, bro? You get me? The summer's beating, fam. You say, summer beat outside. It's crazy, fam. Come on, my bro. So before we get into it, I just wanted to um start from what's behind the name Kemzy. Well, the name Kemzy is just like a, a school thing, isn't it? When I was in school, there was one guy in school with a name similar to man's and he was a star. He passed away, so man's all got the same name. Like me and like three of the men them got that same name there, you get me? Me, so, yeah. so all of the man names got Z on the end of their name or? No, nah, that was all of us from school, innit? In school we all had it like that, innit? So do you yeah. still deal with them same man there that like's got the, the same similar name that he built up yeah, around? Yeah, 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 one of them, but obviously that was so long ago, you know the you know the isms and schisms get in the way, you get me, fam? Yeah, nah, I hear yeah. that. So what was your inspiration for music? What made you get into rapping and and whatnot? Obviously I listened to when I was young I used to listen to um like 50 Cent and that, Jay the Kiss, or the East Coast rap, you know what I mean? So I liked the way they rap. And then when I went to Joe, to see what South Beach rapping and that, I was like, rah, because you know in East, it was more on a gram thing, you get me? And where in East you from? Hackney. What part exactly? Because you know Hackney's a big yeah, place yeah. still. Green Curvaceous H, bro. Okay, I'm okay. On the red side of Hackney, you know what I mean? So was it like over there, like growing up when you was coming up in your younger days? It, it, it's not the way it is now, though. So the, growing up in my younger days, there's no relevance on the way it is now because back then was different, you know. In what way? How's it changed? You know, like the guys on road used to smoke crack and that. Mm. So road was different. Not anyone could just be outside. Them guys are vicious. But they got a new era now with the, with the hippie crack, with the balloons. I swear they just, what do you think about yeah. that? They just pull it up to um, class C, you know? Yeah, the hippie crack's like, it's like it's like a friendly thing though, isn't it? Like mm. them man there weren't friendly back in the day from. Yeah. Back in the day, you see these men, these men with their jewels on and that. They and look like the cool kids. Thing, yeah. They will rob you, bro. They will jam you. Them man there probably got a burner on them. They'll back their burner. <laughs> just jam mm. you. You know me? Times was different. Times was horrible. If you was outside, you had to be outside. You get me? So it was like school, like for you growing up and them thing there. Yeah, I went to Home and Boys. That's like the maddest school in the borough, isn't it? So Home and Boys was like Joe before Joe. No way. Yeah. So Home and Boys Secure Unit was like easier than Home and Boys. So when was Secure Unit before you got to Home and Boys? No, I went. I went Secure after Home and Boys, and Secure was like, what? This is light compared to Home and. Did so? Would you? Did they take care of you in there? In secure unit. Yeah. What was it like? Would would were they abusive? Like baby would, Joe, would... they can't be abusive, bro. Man's a you, villain. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, you I know, know like, they're, they... they're abusive to other guys. That's like, what you I know, mean. Like, yeah. The, the normal guys that that might be in there for too much shoplifting, like, and they just got a sentence for shoplifting. These guys will be in there bending them up every minute, and they get me stressing them out. But whereas man's fighting with them anyway, like. If man don't get man's way, man's going to back this cuff in the face. Do <laughs> you get it? So there's no abuse to man. Mm. If man don't get man's way, if, if they say the man has to turn the GameCube off, man's going to start scrapping, isn't it? Nah, I hear that. be like, no, I'm not turning it off. They'll be like, you turn it off. Just fight. You're not my parents. You, mm. hey, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> you get me? You can't tell me nothing, bro. So, so did you learn anything, like, going through the secure nope, unit situation? No, man didn't learn not one thing. Secure makes... Going to jail seemed like a joke. Uh, yeah, secure. You don't learn nothing there. There's girls there. It's, it's like being in youth club. Wow. It's like staying at a youth club. There's girls there, bro. Yeah. Are you gonna learn anything? Mm. There's girls there. In, in 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 the secure I was in, every cell upstairs from you or downstairs from you is a girl. So it's like you get a personal girl for you to chat to. No way. So when you move into this cell, there's a girl who's upstairs. So you and her are just gonna be talking. The whole time you're in the soul. When she moves out, another girl's gonna move in. You and her's gonna be talking. Like, I don't even think I used to chat to girls like that before I went to Secure. No way. So I'm saying so. Secure is like it just enhanced man's street life. You it? say it's enhancing man's badness. Yeah, cause man's hair now, isn't it? Mm. On the roads, you know, some of the day man has to be with man's mum, isn't it? Yeah. So some of the day man's not gonna be on badness, cause man's a child. Insecure, man's on badness the whole time man's there. Mm, and you didn't take nothing positive away from me, you didn't learn nothing. Just a waste of time, basically. Waste of time, bro. And you know when you go to Felts eventually, you can't believe how different Felts is to Secure Unit. Mm. And it's only a birthday away, do you get it? Like, 
So you're in, so like, let's say you're 13, you're insecure, you're having fun, there's girls, we're having water fights, there's some big green here, and then in summertime, they bring out all the water pistols, I was having water fights on the green, like, gala it's out like there. It's like place in basically. You get it, gala out there in bikinis, and remember, like, you insecure, you know, I think, I think it might be 16, the age limit for mm. a boy, but it's 18 for a girl. Okay. These gala in there, these big 17-year-old gal, man's 13, playing water fights with these 17-year-old gal. They're sliding down uh, water slides and that. This is the best time of man's life. Mm. Do you get it? Man, they got no olders around to try and teeth man's gal. Do you get me? Man's living life. Then you go home, you catch a next case, you get nicked. You're in court sales. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like a guy and felt him. You're thinking it's just a not. Then you get the felts and it's bang up. Yeah, fully. Fully bang fully. up. It gets real. Hour a day, you're out. It gets and that real. hour is everything. So if you go visit, no social. If you go social, no gym. If you go gym, no exercise. Bro, everything's at the same time. You'll be mm. popped down. You're in felts. You can't believe it. There's a peacock screaming at you through the window. At first thing in the morning. Oh, my God. See if you move. See when you're sleeping and you clock it. If you make any sudden move like that, you'll just start screaming. Ah, 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 bro, felt says peak. You got 50p on your canteen. If you don't get postal orders in felt, um, you're rubbed for a few rubbed. weeks. For a good few weeks before you're the rubbed. postal order come in and clear. It yeah. has to clear like a check. You're rubbed, bro. You're rubbed. Security unit, man's not dealing with that. Security unit, man, handing cash at the visit. Mm. Like, you know, like, mum, let me get a pinky because I need to, yeah, just. But felt them. Pissed, you need a postal order. So, so how did you feel, like, when you went into um secure unit? Obviously, you said that was, like, water for ducks back. Yeah, but when man. you got to go into Feltham, how did you feel, like, walking through them gates? Because it's different. You're hearing gates, yeah, you're seeing keys, yeah. you're seeing white shirts. Yeah. Do you understand? It's like you got to conform with their yeah, order. Like, bro. What, what was the vibe for you when you went through that? It was shocking, bro. You're like, rah, like, I swear down, first time I went Feltham, I came out, like, man used to rub phones and that. Back in the day when I was young, I've gone felt, so no word of a lie, bro. Never rubbed a phone ever again. Uh, how, how long did you get for that? I didn't even get convicted. I went there for no reason. My brethren robbed, robbed the ute, and I was with my brethren, so the ute said, Kemsey's friend robbed you. Mm. So I got nicked on behalf of I'm Kemsey. So from, so from then, your name's ringing already? Yeah, so when I went to felt, I was like, nah, this jail's too peak, bro. Man ain't risking coming back here ever again, bro. Mm. Like this, this is this is it's bare bang up, bro. You're in that tight cell, and them time they was turning off the electrics and that at night time. Yeah, yeah, no sad, TV and, and or TV on one side of the wing when I was. Yeah, in there. bro, it was sad. I was like, nah, man, can't come back here. So when I came out of jail, when I came out of Phelps in like oh six and that, I was like, nah, bro, man ain't doing no more phone numbers, bro. Come on, this phone is it. Things dry, bro. Cause this is what I'm saying. Like obviously the younger lot out there. They think like Joe's like a pinch of salt, like it's just soft. Yeah. You understand? But depending on who you are, it will play on like the outcome on your Depe situation and they what I'm saying. Joe you're in as well, bro. That as well. Because you'll be running around in these baby Joe's having the most fun of your life and then you'll land somewhere like swelly. Somewhere real. And your life's totally different now, bro. You know, like that. It doesn't matter how bad you are in Swelly, you have to prove it, bro. Mm. You, you ain't you ain't coming to Swelly with your name. Your name ain't carrying you in Swelly. Mm. Not, mama, mama chop you out your clothes. Yeah, man not, don't really care about all of yeah, that. Yeah, you're not you shot my man the other day. Like, like you know in Felts, like when I was in Felts, obviously, man's gone Felts after. And that, man. A man's stigma will carry them through. Yeah, man will be in Felts. You watch it on the news, someone's got burst last week. You're like, oh, that's my man, you know. Then he'll land in the jail. Mm. And you're like, oh, yeah, he's proper here. That's the you that burned my man. Man's talking to him on the next side. Swear down, you burned my mm. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Swelly, nah, bro, you probably have a hit on you by the time you get here. By the time you get to Swelly, someone's like, yeah, send a cat, chop that you in his face. And you don't even know where it comes from. You don't even know this guy. You You're know, like that. with your bags. A guy's like, let me help you with your bags. Cut you in your face. You're like, who's this? That's what I'm saying. But before today, the last time I saw you mm. was in Suicide. I think we were exactly. making our way to Juma. Yeah, bro. I'm saying, yo, who's this done? Like, yeah. I think you had, the, you had the red the red prison chat suit yeah, on. Yeah, bro. I'm saying, nah, this shoot's different on, for you. Nah, type one, the, the, red, the red drones, I'm saying, yeah, nah, bro. this shoot don't give a fuck. Come on, man. man. I say, this shoot, this shoot don't business about nothing. Obviously, you know, like, See where it is when you land in the jail. You have to just, you have to just let them know where it is from you get there, innit? You mm. can't really be trying to be there and then switch up, innit? Mm. So you see me like I'm more, I'm more likely to be on 
my worst behaviour when like, I first I saw, I saw that because you was on the concourse. Obviously, you didn't even really know who's in the place yeah, like that. So you get me? But you was on the concourse. Straight away, you come here and it's like, right, man's not hiding, I'm not ducking, no action. We haven't, we haven't got a problem with me, he's going to have to see me, innit? No, and facts. then when I've been there a while, that's when I start calming down, start reasoning with people. More time, I don't even want the issue because more time, I just want to go home, you get it? But mm. if men are going to be pushing the issue, then that's what it is, innit? Yeah. yeah, I don't even want to stay on the subject of Joe too much because you've done so well, like with what you've been doing music wise. Because obviously, I was behind the door, I butt you in there in Swelly, seen you touch road, yeah, and I just see leap and bounds. I see you doing your stuff, getting off, staying true to your craft. Trust me, free the guys that are locked up, though. You understand? Definitely. Free the guys that's locked up, 100%. you get me, and I gotta respect your thing. Obviously, you went through what you went through, you're back now. Yeah. So let's talk about Kemzy now. What's going on for Kemzy now? Who's the hardest? 